the next step in making Vermont flood resilient. State environmental engineers are looking to partner with the feds to get at the root of Vermont's flooding problems. Our Calvin Cutler joining us now in the studio. Break this down for us, Calvin. Yeah, Darren and Kat, good evening. Essentially, the state wants to know where to invest money going forward to mitigate flood damage in the future. Now, the state is looking to launch a study with the Army Corps of Eng Engineers to comb through the Winooski River watershed. Rivers and streams covering several hundred square miles, running from Cabot all the way down to Lake Champlain. The aim is to give state engineers a holistic view of our waterways and where they may flood in the future. And that will help us know where to buy out homes, restore floodplains, and build up bridge and culvert infrastructure. Vermont's Natural Resources Secretary tells me we don't have a long-term statewide plan for resilience and that this will help us get there. And so it's starting to bring all of that information together into that comprehensive strategy. And I feel like this sort of um, river corridor study or watershed study could really help knit the pieces that we've, we've been actively building since Tropical Storm Irene together into um, sort of a, a single approach. Now this study would cost about three million dollars and would take about two years. But in the short term, Vermont will receive about 45 million dollars in hazard mitigation grant money from the feds to use for buyouts, floodplain restoration, and others. Live in studio, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin, thank you. And Governor